What can a marshmallow tell you about your kids? You might be surprised. Psychologists at Stanford found that kids who could hold off eating one of these did better, did better, get, get, get your hands off, did better in school and in life. So we set up our own marshmallow test to see what would happen and what parents could learn about teaching our children self-control. Okay. What is that? It's a marshmallow. But it's not just a marshmallow. Do you like marshmallows? Yeah. It's what's going to make the next 15 minutes feel like 15 hours for the kids at the Edina Family Center. You can either eat this marshmallow now. I need that marshmallow now. Well, just wait. let me tell you what the deal is. So you can either eat it now or wait until we come back and you'll get two. Um, I want two. Dr. David Walsh is a big fan of the original marshmallow test research. He wrote about it in his book, No, Why Kids of All Ages Need to Hear It and Ways Parents Can Say It. The genius of the experiment, however, was that they followed those children for 18 years. And Amelia, the ability to wait for the second marshmallow was an amazingly strong predictor of their success in school, their adjustment, their happiness, even their popularity. What does it mean when a child does eat the marshmallow? You know, we're not predicting that any of these kids are going to be either good at self-discipline or not. What we really want to do is help parents try to figure out how can we help our kids develop more self-discipline. Because we do know from a ton of research that that is a key success factor for kids, the ability to say no to themselves. Hi, Lily. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. Lily gets the deal right away. When I come back, what am I going to have? Another marshmallow. Another marshmallow. In a room with few distractions, she waits and waits and waits. Fifteen minutes is a long time it for is, a child. It's a very long time for a, for a four-year-old. Fifteen minutes is a real long time. In the next room, Lily's mom watches with Dr. Walsh. Surprised she's lasted this long. It's coming up on dinner time. Lily surprises her mom and even herself. And I smelled the marshmallow. I saw I would eat it, but I didn't. Should I give you another marshmallow? Yeah. yeah absolutely, because that was the deal. Yeah. Okay, very good. He gave me two marshmallows. Of the 11 kids who took part, four ate the marshmallow within the first minute. Among them, three-and-a-half-year-old Casey. Your mom and I are going to go on an errand now. You can either eat one or wait. I can not eat one, okay? That's whatever you decide is fine. Buddy. Okay, very good. Casey kept his word. Okay. Bye-bye, buddy. I'm not eating. I'm not eating. Eleven seconds later, the marshmallow is history. Now it's his twin brother Nathan's turn. So you can either have one or... Two. two. It looks like Nathan wants to have his marshmallow and eat it, too. I didn't think he'd play with it this much. For 15 minutes, he touches and licks the marshmallow. He even holds it inside his mouth. Uh, yeah, what does eat, <laughs> eat exactly mean? Now, I didn't really bite into it. Define eat. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's tempting to keep watching these kids I with mean, the marshmallow, I mean, but that's not what this story is really that. about. Yeah. <laughs> So what can parents do to help their kids develop self-discipline? It's the kid's job to push against the limits. It's our job to set the limits. So we have to be consistent then. Because if Absolutely we're saying this important. is, you do this, then this is what's going to happen. Exactly. And once you don't do that and you don't follow through, then it's then like starting over again, right? Exactly. Or if I say, no, you can't have the candy bar, and then 10 seconds later I'm giving them the candy bar, what they're learning is no doesn't mean no. No just means escalate and I'll get what I want. It's simple, but not easy. Prior generations had a culture that supported the message of no. What's difficult today is that we have a culture that undermines the message. We have a culture that says more, fast, easy, fun. A culture that says eat the marshmallow. The short-term relief of giving kids what they want, we pay a long-term price for that. Turns out the agony of waiting for the marshmallow or a computer game or a car might actually help your child. We all know that life does deal challenge, frustration, and disappointment. But well, we want our kids to be able to handle that. Well, how will they be able to handle that if they don't get practice? Said, Dr. Waited, Walsh says, in the marshmallow one. test and in life. I wait. I wait. You did wait, didn't you? And now good things come to those who can wait. Mm. Did it seem like a long time? Dr. Walsh has launched a movement called Say Yes to No, and it's all about saying no to your kids and teaching them to say no to themselves. 
Of course, it's just as important to catch your kids doing the right thing and acknowledging it. To know more about the initiative, go to WCCO.com slash links. You'll also find extra videos of some of the kids in the marshmallow tests, from the ones who didn't last 10 seconds to those who got that extra treat. And then after sports, we'll show you the one clip everyone in the newsroom has been watching all day. It's worth the wait. Guaranteed. It's worth the wait.